Goldman Applination Tonometry, sometimes referred to as GAT or GAT, is considered the gold standard technique for measuring the intraocular pressure. However, it is a flawed technique as it does not take into account the effects of the cornea on the IOP measurement. The accuracy of all tonometric devices is affected by the biomechanical properties of the cornea. Pachymetry is the technique for measuring the central corneal thickness, or CCT, which as you know, can have an effect on the IOP measurement. The central corneal thickness can be measured by optical, interferometric, or ultrasound devices. In this short clinical skills video, we shall be using a handheld ultrasound device called the Accutone Pack Pen Pachymeter. So, Stephanie, I'm just going to measure the thickness of the cornea, mm -hmm. and this will help me understand better the intraocular pressure measurement. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to pop an anaesthetic into the eye just to numb the surface of the cornea. So, if you'd like to have a look up to the ceiling for me, it might tingle a little bit. There we are. Have a blink or two. Have a tissue if you want to okay. dab the eye. And we'll just sterilise the tip of the pr probe with an alco wipe. And we'll just dry that off with a tissue just to speed up the process. Okay, so we'll just turn the device on. And that tells me that the machine is ready. We'll press the action button. So Stephanie, if you look down for me, I'm just going to take your lids away and look straight ahead now. And just hear some beeping noises as we take the measurements. Thank you. To start a new patient or take a measurement, press and hold the up and down arrows for two to three seconds. And this will turn the device on. And that indicates that the machine is set to zero. Press and release the action button. Two high-pitched beeps and the rotating line to the left of the average in the display window indicate the device is ready to take a reading. So in this patient, the average corneal thickness is 566 microns. This is within normal limits. You can scroll through individual readings by pressing the up and down arrows. A reading with an asterisk or star next to it indicates the reading that is furthest away from the average. Removing erroneous readings can be done by pressing the up or down arrow for a few seconds and the new average is recalculated. So this is now 565 microns. Again, we can scroll through the remaining readings. Sound waves emitted from the probe rebound from the posterior surface of the cornea. By knowing the speed of sound, the thickness of the cornea can be calculated. The time taken for the sound waves to return to the device's detector is proportional to the distance travelled. You should remember to try and place the probe centrally on the cornea and if necessary, you can steady your hand on the patient's forehead or alternatively, seat the patient at the slit lamp microscope. Some devices, including the Accutome pen pachymeter, provide correction factors or true IOP readings where the IOP is adjusted for the measured CCT. You are strongly advised not to make any adjustment to the IOP measurement. 
the CCT measurement should only be used as a guide as to whether the IOP is being under or overestimated. The use of correction factor is neither clinically valid nor helpful.